imagine that one day you got a message that says you have like uh, 64 years and 122 days and a few hours to live. How excited that would be. Actually, yeah, I saw a, a commercial recently. It's a story about the guy just had a fight with his daughter, and his daughter gets so angry and sends a message to every person and ours says how many how many times is that? And it's a really interesting commercial. Commercial at first, of course, nobody gonna believe it, and then later they found out it's actually true. So some people will feel really sad, frustrated, and some people will really will feel peaceful and it's really interesting and but we know that it cannot happen in the real life but however it is true for this girl her name is Li Suqi she is a 26 years old uh, international student from China and um, he just was diagnosed with leukemia and uh, her doctor told her um, she only have a few years to leave and I think that's kind of like a message sent to her and she's going to die. But she, unlike other people who maybe get really sad and hopeless, she's not. She write, a, write an article to a good website called Soho Learning, tells them about her story, and she, um, she can't ask for help from people, and uh, not about donate money for her, but actually save her life. So today, I'm going to help her to do that, and I'm going to introduce you guys what is leukemia and how we can possibly do to save her life and to save the people who really like, who liked her. And first of all, I'm going to talk about what is leukemia. According to, uh, according to National Cancer Institute, uh, leukemia is a, gr a group of cancers that usually uh, begin in the bone marrow and um, in high result in high numbers of uh, abnormal, abnormal white blood cells. And usually it has four, top, four types. And um, for the girl, uh, Lisa, she had is the one called acute lymphoblastic leukemias. And according to um, an article read by Dr. Vecini, uh, it is the most common malignant cancer uh, for children. And uh, it represents one third of or pediatric mm -hmm. cancers. And next, I'm going to talk about how serious it is. So according to, according to uh, Dr. Lysona, in 2010, globally, globally, approximately 280,000 people died because of leukemia. And according to uh, Mother, Dr. Mothers, in 2000, approximately 250,000 people developed a form of leukemia, and 2,009,000 uh, people died because of it. So we can say it, it has a really low survival rate. And actually, from uh, also from National Cancer Institute, the average five-year survival rate is only 57% in the United States. And farther than that, we can imagine that if you, even though you are lucky within the 57%, you still have chance to die after the five years, and then you're still suffering uh, because of the leukemia after um, after the five years. So it's pretty serious. And then here is some uh, normal treatments we have right now. First of all is chemotherapy. It is a drug use basically. So it's a less the last, uh, least efficient one, because we know that drug cannot really do anything for uh, leukemia. And another one is the most common one, it's radiation therapy. It is basically it's used radiation, and um, uh, for this one, it has a lot of side effects. Uh, it can kill your normal white blood cell and also make you lose your hair. So the most important one is bone marrow transplant. Why this is important? Um, because this one is a really life-saving one. Um, according to, according to uh, Professor Phil Fly and Professor Park, it is um, hemato hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, and it is a transplantation of multipotent hemato hematopoietic stem cells, and usually derived from bone marrow and peripheral blood or an uh, umbilical blood and according to a uh, we delayed blood cancer it's a website only 30 percent of uh, patients are able to find a comparable bone 
bone marrow donor in their family. In other words, the rest of the patient, which is 70%, they cannot find in their family. So where they can find it? It's from apps. So what we can do, I'm going to introduce a website. So this is a website named as DKMS. It is a website you can register there and then you can uh, make, you can send them your DNA and leave it in their database. And once there, if there is a, person, a patient who has leukemia and they can search the database and you can compare with them, so you probably have a chance to save their lives. So what we can do first, up, we can open dkms.org and click register now. When we click, click it and there is a few questions. They will ask you, are you currently in the US? Are you currently serving military? So this is a website we all can register it because you don't need to be a US citizen. As long as you live in, in the US, you can register it. And then they will ask you, are you in good health? It will give you a list. You can check if you are in good health or not. And it will give your answer if you are eligible to register it. If you are, they will send you a um, swap kit. And you can swap your cheek and give it and send it back to them. And they will give you a prepaid envelope, which means you don't have to pay anything. So uh, when you send it back, you will, all you can do is just wait. And if there is, luckily, someone needs your uh, bone marrow, they will ask you if you are willing to donate some of your blood. So it's, the process is really easy. They will take a little blood from you, and um, it's unlike as before, you have to insert a really huge needle on your bone and take your bone marrow. It's really easy right now. So when you give the blood to them, you can save somebody's life. So it's pretty easy. But I think it's not only for us to know that. I think it's important to let everyone in the first paper time to know that. So here is some policy I, I think it might be helpful. First of all is please take an action. I can just ask all you guys here to can register on that website. And then I think we could might have a leukemia week, which is like what we did last month. It's a ads week. And um, I think for leukemia week, it's actually more helpful because we can register and we can actually have a booth and then register there and, and well in person. So I think it's maybe really, really helpful. And then also we could have a leukemia presentation like this and in every GE class. So everyone in the group time would know that and they will consider if they are going to be a donor or not. So in general, leukemia, it's really a life straining uh, diseases, but it is debatable. As long as we have enough do enough donor to donate their bone marrows, and um, so please go register. And then by supporting my policy I stated above, we could have more people to know the website, and then we prob probably are going to save more people. So please go register. And as Aubrey de Grey once said, this is no, there is no difference between saving lives and extending lives because in both cases, we are giving people the chance of more life. Thank you. Mm.